Do you need closure? Hey there, I'm Sharon Pope. I help strong and successful women who are struggling in lonely and disconnected marriages get the confidence and clarity they need to either fix the struggles in their marriage or be able to move forward without regret. If you like what you hear, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. feel like you need closure in your marriage before you move forward? Do you feel like you need closure in your struggling marriage? If so, I have something that I want to share with you. So there is a client that I will refer to as Sheila. That is obviously not her name, but she and her husband had been separated for over a year. And he said he didn't want the marriage to end. He loved her. And she quietly held out hope that maybe things could change. Maybe through the separation, they could find a new way of being together and find their way back to one another. So she was consistently showing up um, as, you know, with, with the tools that I had taught her um, differently in the relationship so that maybe it could shift the dynamics between the two of them and they could find another way to connect and relate. She also would ask him more questions. She remained curious about him and she looked for opportunities and ways to engage with him differently. She would also ask him to make plans with her to do things together. But honestly, what he mostly wanted to do was to stay home and watch TV. He was kind of a homebody, that was his preference. And she got stuck there because she didn't understand because it was confusing, right? He's saying the words, I don't want the marriage to end. I love you. And yet he's not doing anything different than what he was doing before. And so she gets stuck because she says, I just need closure. And what she's asking for, the excuse she's using to remain stuck is I need him to say the words that I am not willing to do anything differently than what I have always done. And if you will lower your expectations of me, then we can get along just fine. The issue is really that you keep, you want me to do something new. You want me to do something different and I'm not willing to do that. Here's the deal. He's never going to say those words. He's never going to give her those words. He's never going to give her that closure. But here's what I want you to know. Look, when there are discrepancies between words and actions, you have to believe the actions. Our actions show us what's important to us. Right. If our son broke his ankle outside today, but I was in the middle of my show, do you think I would stop my show to take care of a child? Of course. Right. Because that's a priority. That's what I want to do. That's that's necessary. It's like, right. It doesn't mean I wasn't doing something before. It just means we do what we need to do. We do what we want to do. We do what is a priority to us. She just doesn't like that answer. And so she keeps looking for him to say the words to give her that answer. When she had, like, he hasn't said the words and he's never going to say the words, but his actions are telling you a lot of really valuable information. You just go blind to it because you don't like the answer. So here's what I want you to realize. Look, you don't need him to say the words that explain his reason for not taking action or taking the action that he is taking. You just have to believe his actions. And that has to be enough. That has to be enough information for you to be able to move forward. And what I want you to know is that actions are always more important than our words. Cause we can say a lot of things. Like how many times have we all said like, I'm never eating sugar again. <laughs> we can say a lot of things. Saying things and doing them are very different things. And you know that, but when you feel like, no, I just can't move on until I have closure. You're the only thing that's holding you back from moving on. You're just using closure as an excuse because you feel like you need something more. You don't need something more. Okay. I hope that that was helpful for you. If it was, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel because I have lots of helpful relationship advice on this channel. If you would like to explore working with me as your coach, you can go to clarityformymarriage.com and take the next step towards that. And we'll see if there's a fit for you and I to work together. 
And if you'd like to be notified every time I post a new video, then at the end of this video, there will be a red icon in the upper left corner. And you click that and every single time we post a new video, you'll get a notification so you can come check it out. All right, until next time, take really good care.